Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and today's video is brought to you by W Energy. So I'm going to keep things short and sweet. W Energy is a clean energy drink that has no sugar, no calories, and comes in a variety of delicious flavors, including Galaxy Grenade and Dragonade. Not only does it give you no jitters and no crash, but it's chock full of vitamins and amino acids, which are great for you. Use promo code Pendragon for 10% off of your order and give it a shot today. And now, on to the video. Hey everybody, it's Pendragon, and welcome back to more Spiral the Dragon. So last time I was about a dragon, we managed to finish up the last flight level, I believe, unless there's one in the next world, of the game. And it was actually quite an easy one. So this time, on Spiral the Dragon, we're going to go ahead and progress further through the Dream Reavers world, and check out the other levels that we had previously seen. So before we get into that, let's go ahead and go to question of the day. So today's question of the day is... Do you prefer playing a hero or a villain in video games? Now this one's a tricky one because it honestly depends on the game. Because there are plenty of games where you have to play the villain, and then there are of course even more that make you play the hero. I prefer having the choice to where I'm not entirely set upon each decision, you know where each decision actually does impact the game. That's normally my go-to. But I guess at the end of the day, I do prefer playing the hero when it comes to video games just because that's just always what I did as a kid, you know, playing as Mario, making the good decisions on games such as like Skyrim and the like. But I've also gone down the bad routes on there where it's like, you know, join the Dark Brotherhood, join the Thieves Guild, you know, trying to play more of a, a not so good character. But comment below what your pr preference is between hero or villain or even if you have one that's kind of in the middle. And now, without further ado, let's go ahead and head into the next level, which I think is going to be, I guess, Dark Passage, because since I'm over here. So, while I was chatting and not really paying attention, I figured that I would just make my way to the first level I see. So let's go on in to Dark Passage. And here we are with a nice calm landing into the Dark Passage. And also that one I didn't mind as much as like the treetops landing, just because this is a beautiful background. And I absolutely love the music in this level. So let's go ahead and collect these 10 gems and then check the guidebook. So we still need to get that last dragon which is pretty easy, we just have to glide over to it. And the Dark Passage has 500 gems and 5 dragons. So it's probably going to be quite the big world. But looks like we're going to have to look out for these creatures again and we have a fool that turns into a lantern now, which is interesting, and then these little like turtles that we have to ta charge into. I was about to say tackle again, I keep wanting to say tackle. But apparently we also gotta fight these little chihuahua guard dog things, so that's an interesting <laughs> choice of enemy. But now we can tackle these big turtles, or you know, miss entirely. So take out that guy, and apparently by taking out the fool, we cancel their magic. So, that turtle obviously, you know, shrunk. And it looks like there are plenty of guard dogs on the other side. And let's go ahead and charge through these chests. You can't charge the chests, so you have to burn them, it seems. And let's go ahead and take this whirlwind upwards. And there is our first dragon that the game almost flung us into. So let's go ahead and rescue them. So rescued, Cassia. The enemies here can be quite frightening. But you should watch the fools. I'd rather flame the fools. Now you're thinking. <laughs> Good to know. So that guy's already telling us more information about the fools. Also, there's like an imp cupid thing that was just flying up there. That was one of the creepiest enemies we've seen. And apparently, there's also a big flamey mouth monster over there with the fool. So let's go ahead and open these chests up, though. Get our gems. Looks like... I was going to say we could probably drop down there, but I wouldn't want to take that risk. But then again, there was that level that we had in Treetops where we actually had to, you know, go towards the water. But it looks like there's nothing on that side aside from some gems over there. So let's go ahead and just progress further then. So let's take out the fool, which apparently makes the guard dog small, which that's apparently what those big things are. So let's go ahead and ouch, get eaten by one there, but we can burn them while they're big, thank goodness. And that actually wasn't too difficult. But of course there's even more up here, including that um, fool and such. 
Also, by taking out that dog, we got bad doggies as our trophy there. So, good to know. Sometimes the names on these are pretty funny. And apparently, these imps can get tiny, it looks like. Also, I hope we got their gems. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, there it is. And there's actually another dragon up here already. So, I guess it's going to be a pretty linear level since it does say Dark Passage. So, let's go ahead and rescue this one. Rescued Azizi. me okay no problem that's all you had to say no useful tips well, that's okay let's go ahead and take out these guard dogs here there we go not too difficult let's grab this blue gem and the red ones here and of course we can take these guys out and not get eaten at least they're enemies that we can actually you know handle there we go go ahead and charge and flame that guy while we were in the air Apparently we need a key for that. And there's the return home pad with a dragon up there. So good to know. I'm gonna try going across this way first. Ouch. Apparently they made the creature grow big as I went into them. So that sucked. You can also charge the dogs. Interesting. I would have thought, you know, you could only flame certain creatures, but I guess you can headbutt the dogs and take them out. And there's the third dragon up here, so I guess there's more stuff we have to glide towards. So we'll have to glide over, I believe, that way to try and get those red gems. Oh, never mind. There are the gems down there, so we're going to have to glide downwards. But first, let's rescue this dragon. So rescued Bakari. You know, I think you just might be the dragon to defeat Nasty Nork. That's me, all right. I hope I am because, you know, kind of the titular character here. But let's go ahead and glide our way down into this section. There we go. So there's plenty of red gems and there's a whirlwind as well to get back up. So let's go through here, take out the guard dogs, and also take out this imp thing. There we go. And let's gather these gems. At least they have some higher value gems, you know, it's not just all reds and greens. Let's take a look around. Looks like we can go down there, though I'm not sure why I would want to go down there yet. We can tackle these turtles. Ouch. There we go. And we can, I guess, burn these mushrooms nice and easy. So that one's done, that one's done. Three down. I see a dragon up there. And trying to get that last one. There we go. Apparently there's some more fireworks over here and I can also collect this. So sparks should change color to yellow. So let's light that on fire and see what it gives us. Only five gems, really? Well that was a bit of a bust. But I guess we have to actually glide our way down here now. So go ahead and made it here. Looks like you have to kind of delay your glide to get lower, which makes sense. Apparently those guys each drop red gems. Which I wonder if I would have tackled them all and then tackled through those chests if I would have got something. Also, these turtles can blow fire when they're big. So the more you know, and I keep forgetting that you can't burn them. I just instinctively want to shoot the fire for some reason. So now let's go up this whirlwind and see where it takes us. So now we're up here with some more chests with gems in them. So let's get that one. Go ahead and burn that guy. Trying to dodge the fireballs coming out of these turtles. I guess the small ones can also shoot out fireballs. We just didn't get a chance to see them. Kind of normally take them out too fast. So let's take a look around. So more dogs here. Nice and easy. Light the fireworks. Take them out here. There we go. Surprised we haven't lost a life yet. I hope I didn't just jinx myself. But we're doing pretty good so far. And there's another dragon. So rescued Apara. Thanks, Spyro. I'd love to help you catch Nasty, but I'd really hate to be trapped in Crystal again. Don't worry. The only one that's going to be trapped is him. So Spyro's going to go ahead and trap Nasty Nork in a crystal? Hmm. The plot thickens. <laughs> Let's take out these guys. There we go. Not too shabby. And then these singular gems that literally lead us up a path. Go ahead and take that one out. 
got a nice yellow gem for our troubles. Nothing down there, so there's not really a reason to go down there. I guess I could have t told you that just by looking at it, but I wanted to check. Okay, 379 gems. Let's glide across, take out the guard dogs, and now we're getting closer to 400, but not quite. There we go. I love that you can just leap across platforms. Oh, and this must be... Hey, this is the last one? Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and rescue them. So rescue the Obasi. Thank you for releasing me. Okay, that's apparently all we had to say. Now we have 65 dragons found. So let's go ahead and leap across this. I saw the blue gems. Obviously more enemies here. So I guess this is going to be where the rest of the gems might be. It's looking like it so far. But you can never be too certain with this game, I swear. There we go. Tackle that, take that one out. Get that yellow, and get that blue. Anything else in this room? Yes, there is. Another five gems I almost missed. And I'm guessing I can go back. Wait, no, I was over there before. And I think I was down there before too, right? I think I see some red gems? I'm not going to take the risk yet. I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more exploring. So let's take this upwards. And okay, this leads us to more gems, so we were going the right way. And there we go. Now we can light this on fire. Would that give us the last of the 35? We shall see. Looks like there's plenty of gems over there. Not quite enough though. Oh yeah, there was. There was exactly 35 in that chest. So now we are actually done with this level. So that was nice and easy. So let's go ahead and glide across to here, or miss entirely and drop all the way into the water. So I guess that'll just put us back where the last dragon was. Which should just let us get right back to the return pad. And it looks like a definite yes. So let's glide across here once more, make our way past all the enemies, hop into the hurricane, or Tornado Twister, whatever it's called. I think it's called Hurricane. Now, we can make our way to the return home pad and finish this level. So that was a nice easy level and I might talk to the loading screen again, we'll see. But that brings us up to a grand total of 9100 gems. We are 2900 away from 100%ing it. And then also getting all of the dragons as well, of course, because it looked like there are only a few more levels in this area. So now, we kind of have enough time for the next one, um, but I don't want to start a level and not finish it. I did that a couple times with like treetops and such, but those ones actually made sense because they're actually longer levels. So let's go ahead and just make our way all the way back around here to this area. Take these guys out, hop into Hurricane, so we can at least get this last dragon in this world. And over here, and now go this direction, and rescue it. So rescue Zekomo. Hello, Sparrow. Nicely done. I'll be done when I've toasted that nasty Nork. If we can even toast him, he might be wearing armor. I don't remember off the top of my head. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hop our way down here. So we can at least get set up for where we're going to go to the next level. Which, now that I look at the time, we have plenty of time. So I'm actually going to go ahead and hop into the next one. So let's go into Haunted Tower. Or Haunted Towers. And here we are at the Haunted Towers. As we can see, there is some fallen armor over there for some reason. And there's a door that we can't do anything about, but it sounds like I hear something. Not sure what though. I guess there's a wizard in there, I think? Couldn't quite tell. Yeah, there's a wizard right over there with a cloud above his head. And this looks like it doesn't do anything, but it's kind of glowing. So that's interesting. I can't like put the armor on or anything. Looks like a no, so let's go ahead and try to take down the door. Okay, apparently we can break it. And then we have that guy with a shield, I forget what he's called. And, oh, the armor's alive. <laughs> well, that's not good. And apparently we can't 
quite take him out. So let's take out the wizard at least. And now, let's see what he's gonna do. Okay, apparently he attacks us with that. And we can't do much about that guy, it seems. I can't, like, tackle him or anything either, it seems. So I guess we're gonna have to leave that be for now. Maybe we can't kill them? Maybe we're supposed to just avoid those ones? But see, it kind of fell apart out here, though. So that would make me think that, you know, you could take it out. Or, you know, taking out the wizard would bring it down. At least you would think so, right? Maybe after a set amount of time, it'll stop moving. But I guess we'll find out. Also, those guys have bombs. That's not safe. And, okay, there's a wizard there. So we can actually try and bait this guy. Or not. Never mind. Try to avoid that. Take out that guy. Go back for the gem, of course. And let me check the guidebook while I'm here. So, 500 gems and 3 dragons. Okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. So let's go ahead. Apparently I missed that 2 gems there, and that guy's still not going down for some reason. But it looks like I could probably get there from behind. That's probably the whole point of these guys. And I don't think I can do much with that door. So let's take this one out. And go for the guy with a bomb. Not too shabby. There's apparently a fairy. And oh, yeah, he gives you the magical fire, that's right. So now I can actually take these guys down. So there we go. That's done. And I can also make my way all the way back to the beginning and take that one out. So they drop yellow gems, thank goodness. So that's useful. Probably had to use that on this door as well. Which I didn't even see the fairy until, well, now I can see it from a distance, but I didn't even realize they were there. We can hop in there, go up there and get some more gems. But I want to get that door open and see what's on the other side of that door. So let's go ahead and tackle the fairy in the face, apparently. And she is unfazed. So now, let's go ahead and charge our way back here. Attack the door. Not too shabby, we can just break that, break those. And I think that's all the important gems around this section. That's what it looks like at least. So now we can actually make our way across here and jump into the Whirlwind. I believe that's what it's called. I can't recall off the top of my head if it's Whirlwind or Twister or something. Because they don't really repeat it multiple times. Grab that five gems there. It's weird that this doesn't come alive though. We can go through here, attack that wizard. We can technically go back to that fairy and see about getting another boost, I guess. Maybe that's how we gotta take out those guys again. So let's get the fairy and then see what happens if we hop into the whirlwind. I'm thinking that it's gonna work and as I jump off the edge of a bridge. Ay ay ay. Come on, me. I know I can do this. It's not that difficult. I'm just having the biggest brain fart for some reason. So let's go on through. Tackle the door. Get to the fairy. As we get hit by that guy who I didn't even see behind me. Also, we have a lot of lives. Probably because I was going after those oysters. So that's useful. Take that out, take that out, hop in. Okay, apparently you can keep this. So now you can actually, oh, you can take them out before they even spawn. That's cool. I did not know that. So I guess we do have to actually go back for that, um, that armor at the beginning as well. Hmm. Because since we can destroy them like this and probably get gems, also now we're up to 10 lives. Let's go ahead and give it a shot. Might as well try to kill as many of these suits of armor as we can and just, you know, do some cleanup. So let's go ahead and get our boost. And now let's go ahead and make our way along here and not goof this time. All the way to the back. We can avoid those attacks. There we go. So I would have missed an extra five gems if I didn't do that. That would have been bad. But I think those are all handled now. It seems like it. There's nothing really past that door from what I recall. 
but let's hop back into the whirlwind and see where it takes us. Oh yeah, I gotta take out this guy. That's right. I literally just said I was trying to get all the suits of armor and I was about to miss one. So let's go back, get the boost. I'll break the door just so that way I can do it, otherwise it's gonna bug me a bit. But let's go all the way through with our extremely hot dragon breath. Over here. Jump up. We really don't get to keep this for long. And there we go, we got another 10 gems. So let's go ahead and tackle our way through. Nice and easy. Probably have to come back for that. And I can't quite take out the wizard from there. But let's rescue the dragon. Rescue Kosoko. Hey, Spyro. All dragons know there's magic in a fairy's kiss. See what it can do to your power of flame. And it pretty much just gives us the answer to what we're supposed to do here. So let's go ahead and take this guy out as we almost get taken out by it ourselves. So there must be another fairy somewhere is my assumption. Yes there is, right there. So let's grab this gem that we would have missed if I wasn't paying attention. Get in our lives, we're up to 11. Blow up those fireworks. And we keep getting only one gem from these fireworks lately, I've noticed. Let's go ahead and grab this here. Nothing else there, so let's go ahead and let the fairy kiss us, and then we can take out everything in our path. So let's do this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and charge my way through that guy, do that one, do that one, take out the wizard, take out that chest because that chest had stuff we needed, and take out that last suit of armor if we get back up in time. We did not. So we're gonna have to come back for that. I got more of those gems. Go ahead and make my way all the way back around. Get the fairy kiss again and then take out that last piece of armor. I'm guessing that if you take out all that stuff at once, you'll probably get a skill point or something. I keep thinking it's trophy for some reason, but a skill point, which is unique to the game. Okay, I think that was all of them that we can get at the moment. And there's another whirlwind up there. I also see there's an island up there we gotta get to. Probably gotta drop from the top. So let's make our way upwards, ride this whirlwind up, and apparently it puts us on a set of stairs, which is interesting. Glide across. So I can glide over there if I really wanted to. But I think we might want to follow along this supercharge. So let's go for it, all the way through. Okay, apparently I didn't make my turn quite right. So let's go back up here. Let's try this again. Go ahead and go through there. All the way along. I'm missing one. But, oh, there's a dragon behind that door. That has armor. And that just has a bomb. That's fine. But apparently there's a fairy here too, which will make our lives way easier. I wonder if I could supercharge through those guys too. Maybe. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out, take out all these chests, and god there's a lot of treasure in here. Take that out. We don't have quite enough, I think we have like 16 to go, I believe it was 300. But let's go ahead and rescue, well I was just checking, I thought I saw a chest for a second. Let's go ahead and rescue this dragon. So rescued Lutalo. Here comes Spyro! Patience, little one. You'll soon have the opportunity to battle the one who matters most. Nasty Nork. Well, apparently these guys should just warn us about Nasty Nork, which this is the most he's been talked about since like the first world. So, good to know. That must be a good sign. But let's go ahead and make our way back to that fairy. I already got myself lost for a second there. Let's go ahead and get the fairy kiss so we can get our super fire, or whatever it's called. Go ahead and open that door, open that door. Let's take out this guy, make our way upwards, take that one out. Okay, there's more here. There we go. And ouch, we got smacked by some bombs there. Oh, there's another fairy here. So I guess this world's just full of fairies. Which is an interesting choice, because, you know, we're getting like the most use out of these fairies than we have the entire game. 
But I guess it kind of makes sense for being, you know, like the dream world kind of thing. So got that. Take out that one. Take out that one. I saw that return home pad as well. There we go. Not too shabby. I think that was pretty much all of them there. Don't see anything else we can really get aside from this wizard, of course. And let's get this chest. There's gotta be something we can glide to. So let me check my guidebook again. We're missing our dragon, we're still missing 172 gems, so I will come back to that. Let's go on here again. Charge and jump. I was gonna say glide, but we didn't really need to glide there. Okay, so there's these mushrooms again. And of course, another life. Some gems from these chests. And one that requires the super fire, super flame ability, whatever it's called. Um, let me take a look around again. So I guess I'm going to have to get you again. And then open up that chest and see what's inside. Maybe there'll be like a pink gem or a purple gem or something. That'd be pretty cool. So let's go up here. Get that. Okay, that was really about it. Thought there were going to be a lot more gems in there. Apparently not. I don't see anywhere else to really go, aside from maybe up somehow. Let's take another look around, because we got time. Not a lot of time, of course, but we got some time for this episode. So let's go upwards again. Okay, that was where the supercharge was. That part we've been to. We've been over here. So there's got to be something we missed. Let's take this upwards again. Never mind. I goofed on that. Maybe I have to go behind? Or maybe I have to get across to there? No, because that's just where that fairy is. Let's try going all the way back to the beginning. I know this is a bit of a, a setback, but let's go ahead and take a look around. While we're here. So let's go back across this way. I could ride that twister back up, but I think we're okay right now. Where are we missing these gems? Nothing there. Well, let's go ahead and go... Mm, this is where the fairy was. We don't really need the fairy's magic at the moment. So I guess I'll just take this twister back up and keep looking around. Maybe over there? I don't remember where, what's over there off the top of my head. We literally were just over in that section though. But at least we got that checkpoint back. Let me check around here see if there's another door maybe I'm missing. No. Definitely looks like a no. Nothing behind it. Anything below. Because the camera is super important in this game honestly. If you don't look down, you're probably going to miss something in this game because that's what happened with... I believe a couple worlds back where we had to actually light something and it was a little bit of a pain to get it to actually show us the fireworks so we could light it and get a chest open. But let's see. Nothing over this way. And if I can't find anything soon, I'll probably go ahead and cut the video to where we find more gems. But I'm going to still take a look around just to be safe. Maybe I had this supercharged through there again. Okay, no, nothing on that side. Anything over here? Did we go this way? Yes, we did. We definitely went this way. I want to keep burning those toadstools, which sound like they're making the toad noises from Mario. I don't know if anyone else hears that, but that's what it sounds like to me. Okay, up here. Let's go across again, see if we missed anything. Okay, fairy there. Any doors that we can go through? No. Okay, that's just the return home pad. We don't want to return home yet. What am I missing? Well, I guess I'll just go ahead and cut the video to where we find out where to go. There we go. 
apparently there is a little ledge over here that I saw while I was backtracking a bit. So if you supercharge all the way from up there, go all the way around, and then you kind of hug this wall because you can kind of see it from the end of that twister where you will land on here. And now we can actually go up this whirlwind in order to find this balcony area. So there's a chest here that we can't quite open, but there's another dragon here. So now we've rescued Copano. You've become a master of the supercharge. Great work. And thank you. I certainly feel like it. Also nice. <laughs> we have 69 dragons rescued. So now, looks like there is quite a few things we can do in here. And this drops us... Okay, this is where that square was at the at that level. That was earlier. That didn't really make sense. But at that section where we had to do the supercharge drill, it was where there was another dragon. Um, so let's go ahead and climb upwards because we're going to be dealing with this wizard. So let's go all the way up. Try our best here. There we go. I'm trying to ignore the bodies of armor without getting knocked back down. So we can actually take out the... Okay, I can't get past them. Never mind. So apparently there must be a spot that we have to go to to get that fairy. So let's try... Let's see. I didn't see the fairy. But I might have gone right past it. Okay, there's this one, of course. And since there's a checkpoint here, that means that there has to be a fairy somewhere in this section. So I guess we have to kind of race these guys all the way up, otherwise they will block us off. So let's go all the way up here, try to dodge horribly, trying to get him to attack me as well, but that's not working well, because there is a door on that section that we can't quite reach. So this is a bad time. Let me see, where is that fairy at? Let's try gliding down. Maybe go through here. Maybe we do have to go through here. I really don't want to drop down and be wrong though. Because that looks like the section that we were in before. Yeah, with all the different doors. So let's go backwards once more. And let's see if there's a fairy maybe down here. I don't see one. That doesn't mean there isn't one though. Let's go all the way back up again. Um, can't charge that wall up there. That doesn't really do anything for us. So there's got to be a way to get up here. Maybe I have to dash, make a mad, make a literal mad dash past everybody. So let's do that, or not. You know, miss terribly. So let's exit the room again. Could that apparently recess the armor once they're off screen? Now we can go ahead and make our way upwards. And apparently if I keep charging into these things, it really messes us up. So let's keep going upwards once again. Okay, I can't do anything there. I just want to check to be safe. Okay, I can't really do anything about this guy. So this is annoying. Can't quite figure out what I'm supposed to do here. Ouch. As we get utterly smacked. I can't go through any of those windows. Can I park four up here? Oh god, I don't think I'm supposed to be up here. Uh, I, I might have broke the game. <laughs> I might be stuck. Gosh, that was a weird little glitch. Glad I got out of it, but... Wow. <laughs> maybe I need the fairy, and maybe I need to keep the supercharge... Go no, because why would I have to go up the stairs like that? And I would definitely not have enough um, fairy energy for it. So where the heck am I supposed to get this fairy? I would think maybe it would be like right there. That'd be the spot I would put it at least. Hmm. Well, let's try discharging past them again. Apparently if I dodge, if I like bob and weave a bit, I will make it all the way up. Gotta make it before that last one spawns. Okay, I didn't quite make it. I can't do anything there. I literally cannot make my way past them. I 
can't even like I'm pressing other buttons trying to see if I can maybe trick them not quite so I guess it's all about just racing my way up there so I'm gonna go ahead and let them all drop once more and then try this again so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the video to where I actually succeed Okay, and we made it. So I managed to do it, not too difficultly, but I actually did that very next try there, as you can see by the fact that I actually didn't cut the video, like I said I was going to, because here is that fairy that we need, and here are a bunch of gems. So we're gonna have to make our way all the way down that set of stairs to take out literally everything in our path. So let's go ahead and do this thing. Um, for some reason, there's no bar here. So, and the fairy also wasn't purple this time around, so I wonder if this is like an infinite one. Which would be quite the reward for us in this dream world, as we get smacked and flattened. Well, now we're back up here again. Well, we're going to be back up there again. And it doesn't start us back in that little area. But, I did it once, I can do it again. Wise last words. Or famous last words, that was the phrase I was looking for. Oh my gosh. Now of course I'm not going to be able to do it again. But let's go ahead and try that once more because we actually were doing really good on that. It's just, you know, I didn't have enough health. But if you stop weaving before you reach the last charge area because now you have to kind of jump across. Now we can just go straight on past, take out the wizard. And there's no other dragon here. So obviously... This is going to be the last fairy we need to do, and the last part we need to do. And it wasn't a bug, so obviously we do have to actually take these guys out with this infinite fire. At least I hope it's infinite, because that would be terrible if it wasn't. And, oh my gosh, I am doing terrible at actually hitting them, though. There we go. And angle it. There we go. And we got the trophy scrap metal for taking out all of those. But now we have, it looks like, infinite fire. So we should be able to get the last of the gems by going to this chest here. And that looks like plenty to me because there's a purple gem in there. So let's grab them all. And now we're at 500 out of 500. And I think that was all the dragons too? Yes, it was. So now we have officially 100% the level. And we can hit the return pad. And I must have paused at the wrong moment because it doesn't say 100%. But when I go to the guidebook, it says 100%. So thank goodness for that. But now we can actually finish this up by making our way all the way back around to the ending area, which I think was up a set of stairs. Should be this one. It's literally the one that I wasn't looking at for some reason. Yeah, because now we can actually glide across here, or just jump across. We have our infinite fire still, but we're probably going to lose it as soon as we have to return home pad. So let's go ahead and return home. And we're back at the Dream Weavers world, where we have officially knocked out two levels this episode. So, we're actually out of time for this episode as well. So if you guys at all enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. And subscribe if you consider, well, consider subscribing if you guys want to see more content like this. And be sure to hit that bell to be notified of when I actually do post videos. So next time I spout a dragon. It looks like we only have, I believe, one more actual level left. And also, I kept calling Haunted Towers Dark Passage for some reason. I don't know why. Probably kind of literally just did Dark Passage. But we have one more level plus the boss level I believe or we might just have the boss level left I forget off the top of my head but next time I spell the dragon we'll hopefully be able to finish the dream weavers so this has been pen dragon and I'll see you guys next time